This here is the all new Ferrari FXX Ride On by Raw Star. Now, we previously reviewed the old La Ferrari. This here is the new replacement version of the previous model, making it the latest of the latest models in terms of ride ons. Featuring an automatic steering as well as parental control definitely does take the cake. So, let's go ahead and unbox this thing, see what it's all about, and try it out. So this here is our box, and as you can already see, it's got the Ferrari FXX on the front here. Now this here is a 12 volt dual motor, making it very, very fast. Has a push start button, as well as doors that open up, and a variety of other features, which we'll be going in a little bit. Now the box itself is very big and very heavy, so I do recommend carrying it with two people. So let's go ahead and open this thing up and see what's on the inside. All right, so you do see the uh, Ferrari here encapsulated. It's got a lot of nice padding. Everything's kind of just like put together. So this here's the car without the box. We have ourselves a do-it-yourself sticker sheet. And then we have a few other packets as well. This here is our instruction manual, as well as some of the tools. And then this here is our remote for our parental control, allowing us to control the car from a third party distance. And I have my trusty little niece, Isma, here to help me build this. You ready? Yeah. All right, let's build this. So the first thing we have to do is install the battery and power supply. So the way you do that is you have to go remove the battery panel right over here. And then we're just gonna go ahead and clip into place. So the next thing we're gonna do is install our seat. Uh, you can see right over here. This will just go ahead and clip into place. Oh, so it's got, it's got a safety mechanism, that's cool. And then install the windshield and the wing mirror. Next, we're gonna install our spoiler. All right, now for the rear wheels, the way we install it is by simply removing the cap, just like this. And then from there, we'll go ahead and slide this wheel into place, just like that. And essentially, it should lock into place, just like that. And then the way you take it off by is pushing this button here, and you can go ahead and remove the tire very easily. All right, and then we do the same thing for the front wheel. Uh, so the front wheels are a little bit different, but you still do the same exact approach in terms of locking them into place. You just go ahead and push, and then you'll hear the spring snap into place just like that, and you're ready to go. And there's no final touch than to go ahead and apply some cool looking stickers to give it that final racing feel. All right, so we're all set and ready to go. So we're gonna go and grab my little niece, Isma, and try out this cool looking Ferrari FXX. Hi, my name is Isma, and I'm five years old, and um, we are going to be riding this car. All right, check it out. So this here is our new La Ferrari FXX, yeah. So this thing is a race version of the La Ferrari. Uh, it's a special edition. It's got the decals, it's got the spoiler, it's got the front diffuser and the rear diffuser, as well as other features. Uh, so Isma, how do we get inside this car? Um, like, you can open this and, yes. then, and then you get it. Exactly, so the doors open up by simply pushing this button here and it'll lift up and you can go ahead and sit inside. Now, the nice thing about this is it does have LEDs on the inside, which you can go ahead and hit start and stop. And when you hit start, you hear the engine roar. Now we have a few different buttons on the inside here before we drive it. Uh, we have a volume control, we have a turn indicator. So when you press the indicator, the turn signals will start blinking on the front. And then you can also go ahead and rev the motor by pressing this button here. So that's pretty cool. And then it has two different modes. So it has an RC mode as well as a manual mode, which is simply turned by this button right over here. Now, what happens is when you put it in RC mode, it'll actually disconnect the steering wheel. So when you turn it, it doesn't turn. Right now we're in manual mode. And if we switch over to uh, RC mode and I hit, I turn the steering wheel, notice the, the wheels don't turn at all. So this allows the child not to override the system, which is a biggest issue with modern ride-on cars. Now it has three different modes. You have a reverse, uh, you have a park, drive one, and drive two, which is the fastest mode. On the steering wheel, we have a horn. And then we have an on-off switch over here. This will turn on the, the sound of the horn. And that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and drive this thing next and see how this thing works. You ready, Isma? Yes. All right, let's get in. So the first thing you do is we sit down and then we buckle up for safety. 
Now, this is gonna be our little race course here. So we have ourselves uh, a quick little race track right here. So we're gonna go ahead and drive straight. We're gonna cut through over here, turn around, work our way back around and all the way back here. <laughs> all right, Isma, you ready? Three, two, one, go. So you can see that it's actually quite easy to drive. Okay, Isma, you gotta break, you gotta break, you gotta break. Uh-oh, looks like you're not gonna make that turn. You gotta put it in reverse. Turn back. Drive back. All right. Okay, we're gonna break. We're gonna come back this way. Put it back in. Put it back in gear. Okay. Turn it all the way this way. Go ahead. Go back. Go back. Accelerate. Okay. Stop. Stop. There we go. Cool. Now put it back in gear. And we're gonna go back straight. Stop. And yeah, there you have it. What do you think, Isma? Good. Nice. So that's one thing I noticed is that the turn, the steering radius isn't that good. So that's only one downside. I think it's because of the automatic feature in here. So next we'll try is the um, the RC version of it, where Isma can't drive it, and I'll be controlling it. All right. So the way this works is simply by using the controller. I can control the car. Uh, so if I press forward, it'll start going forward. I press back and then start going back. You can also turn it at the same time. So I can turn right. I can uh, turn left. So it does give you full control over the whole entire car. It's my try control overriding controls. Uh, turn it, turn it. Are you turning it? See? And she has no control over the car. Uh, just because what happens is the steering wheel disconnects from the steering. Uh, meaning, if Isma tries to turn it, Isma try turning it, the wheels won't turn at all. So that's actually a great safety mechanism. So another nice feature is that you charge it by lifting up this gas nozzle right here, and there's a charging port right over here. So you plug into the wall, almost like a real car. One last feature we haven't really looked at is the steering. Now, obviously some kids like to yank on the steering wheel. So if you really want to control it over them, you can go ahead and press this button here on the bottom. This will go ahead and pop off the steering wheel. Just like that. And then there's a cap that you just go ahead and put it on there. And now this will give full control over the parent in terms of controlling the car. And there you have it. This here is the LaFerrari FXX by Rostar. Not only is it really cool to look at, but it's actually very fast and easy to use and it's parent friendly. Now if you guys have any questions at all about this particular car, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, thank you again for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Take care guys. Bye bye. <laughs>